and the the purge that you get from the brew is really good versus Pugna and Necro. Oh yeah, that's true, that's true. You can good purge point. off the Ghost Shroud, you can purge off the D Crab. And he missed! <laughs> well, Roger, you only have one Tango, but can't eat through that area. Z Freak is gonna try and block him up or not. He'll just that was take a the lot kill. of Tangos. That, yeah. Another creep, by the way. So oh, that's two Frostbites committed for nothing, but Seneko has his aura and he's got a lot of clarity oh, if only that was a better creep but they are going to slow him down with the tornado as well as the nuke out z freak trying to finish him off oh, one more dead. hit moves going to be able to dive him underneath the tower snake has nothing left in the tank to go save oh, that bottom two oh, no. dual lane mid by the way has not been that successful no for navi they commit two of the most aggressive heroes in the game against a tiny dwarf man it's like that series we saw the lone druid oh nice centaur stomp he was beginning to get gone on, but a beautiful turnaround using oh, the Centaur, and they're going to be able to just run down. going down again. He's dead. Seneko actually Seneko still trying to go for Z-Freak, but the bottom lane looks like with the extra movement speed, they try to go on general. It's your feet. He's like, yes. we got this one. All they want to do is fight us, so we will oblige. As Z-Freak going to get gone on. Caught inside his own jungle, but he does have a Centaur and Hellbear, but looks like he didn't really snag oh, Seneko with that one. He's still going to try and get the counter kill here. He's he knows he stun. can't simply run himself away, misses the stun onto Seneko, gets it onto Roger though. May not be able to get that kill on Seneko, but he might have just gotten himself away. No, Roger's able to fly over the trees, still collect that bounty. Bottom lane, again, here's dropping low. A wind lace and boost of speed. Believe it or not, he has 400 boost speed. And he can decrepify himself if the Bloodseeker even gets close enough. To oh, be on top of him. You could just decrepify him. and keep running. Gonna get gone on. This is a lot of damage Mass on him. TP's coming in. Kyle's gonna try and save his ally, but it won't happen. Roger underneath the tower is gonna be fine. Radiant's Kyle has no follow up disables. And nice. Largest surprise for me. Yeah, he's 39 1 compared to 31 and 2. They've done a very good job, though, at keeping him controlled. The yeah. ganks, uh, they are utilizing the fact that he doesn't, he didn't have any levels of the growth shout early, which is very common, but still very punishable as at the top. With the centaur wrapping around behind the tower. Another stun? Sea freak, beautiful setup, man. Very well done. He's, yeah, that was fantastic. He even sends his creep back to base, and it's barely going to heal it in time. Oh, what is this wrap coming in? Earth Shaker from behind, blocks in the Crystal Maiden, Seneko. Radiant He's going to be booed for boo to pick apart at his leisure, as long as he doesn't get juked in the trees, but they've got a Bloodseeker. It's not really possible. No hiding this time is, once again, Na'Vi oh, forced to abandon mid. this bottom lane as mid. Okay, trade-offs. Trade-offs for Na'Vi. Dendi gonna TP though, sense of some danger. Kyle gets oh. a stun up though. Dendi does he's got have blink. a blink up, so this shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Yeah, and but he's gonna run back to base with no shrine. Yeah, it's the long walk back. That kind of sucks. Is this okay, right? They have. Like near top two CS, Bloodseeker and you know, Moo. Actually, they got about going for this one. Oh, Seneko is actually going to turn for the Pugnet set. That's a better kill. Going to deny. Going to pay no life drain. Sending Moo back. Seafree's going to go for the TP away. Dandy goes in. Oh, trying to finish up the right click. Isn't enough. He's able to get away. Oh, and, and they get the kill on Seneko with the help air. This game, but he senses something is up. Or does he? And the end is on general too, so he can maybe catch Limp oh, inside that jungle. They slow him down, manage to get the trap five. Roger gets up this on that, turns around. Far. They go for the Earth Shaker instead. General didn't quite get the memo though. Turns around a little bit late, but it's just enough to be able to get that kill anyway, since they had the backup of Dendi as well as Crystallize. Jeez, I didn't even see Crystallize made his way down here as well. Everyone came for that one as oh. Boo. Meanwhile, takes that tier one up at top. He's even pressuring this tier one up. Oh, they should not have been able to get this extra kill. Oh, no kill. way. That was five heroes showing themselves in bottom lane that support. A little bit sloppy by Chessy as they have wards in really good positions to see them leave as well. The line even being drawn saying, you should have saw this coming as that up kill? at top roar. Oh, but the heal's not enough. You have to run for Moo right now. He's so strong. The double boar, even the oh, net committed for this. The net too. Moo's a beast with this Helmet Dominator. He does so much right click damage. Look at him, he's ignoring two. Denny. He's like, I'm going to take this tier two and TP out right in front of your face. That Oh, so crazy good. He's got his, his gen every game he's been. Three man smoke. They need this kill. Okay. Ooh. He's gonna smoke spot this coming in. Here's he's the roar. Turn around, stun up the crystal main, try and get out with the Fissure blocking them in as well. They actually get so much damage. They killed him oh from my. a distance. And General couldn't do nothing to be able to stop. Even if they went on move, run he's got a four staff. He doesn't die very easily as Navi has rotated their entire team. This might not be a fight that you want to take as Rupture has popped. Ronda Roger. Sure. Roger cannot run himself far enough away. He's going to be assassinated here. Limp finally comes into the battle. 
Man, this Beastmaster is way too huge. Complexity wrapping behind mid lane instead of going for that bottom tier two straight up. Now Limp's gonna be kinda gone on here. Kyle. Uh, he's gonna commit the Echo. Echo laid down. Crystallize dropping lower and lower. Does manage to get the Ghost Shroud out with a TP. Should be good as Kyle just doesn't have the stun. The Drums of Endurance completed up too. Just continues to snowball as at bottom crystallize. He's got Dendi here. Oh, he misses though. So they're gonna try and turn and fight this one. It looks like they can get an easy kill on a Kyle. Bring him down with the Reaper Sight. That's gonna help out a lot. Limp is here now, but they don't have a stun to be able to stop Dendi, so they're both gonna be able to escape. Yeah. The downside is certain situations, the Ben Towers, yeah. the sniper kill that they got mid, now that bottom lane. The question was... Ooh, a catch on a move, maybe. That oh, Force Staff may be not huge. be able to save him here. Crystallite's gonna wrap around from behind. He does not have Reaper Scythe up yet. Dendi's so gonna need his way a up, lot though. more nukes. Dendi's gonna be able to slow him down, plus the Ghost Shroud. That is a huge kill as... Man, they feel kind of scared. Moo is directly under a tower right now. They see that Limp is by himself. They're gonna make the move right now as General gonna silence him up, and this should be a kill. He still does not have the Force Staff to be able to get himself out of these situations. So Limp is gonna be easy They're kill, They're both Mu. just keeping thing as they started going in. And now they might even lose mid-tier one tower. This is not what's supposed to happen with the team with Aegis as Crystallize TPing in. Here's the Force Staff, God, here's the roar. The At least they punish him. Two purple dudes and a Hellbear Smasher. Dendi, spot Kyle here coming up. He's got an Orchid, so this should be a pretty easy kill for him. Kyle Another turns, pick off. does whatever damage he can, but he knows he's dead. What happens? You grab Chen Creeps as well. Yes, sir. Some of these fights. As top being shoved in, but Dendi once again there to pick up all the solo XP. And then TP out. Him. Deep Freak tries to heal him. Won't be able to save him. Oh, another kill. Looks like they managed to get Roger somewhere near the mid lane, but Navi definitely picking up the bigger bounty here over the map now, right? They've, they've got this team oh, fight, no. they don't like have an Aegis. He might just die again, 1-4-1, one, and one. score gets even worse here if Seneco catches him, he does. Cop They're gonna blow him up. Toast and a Reaper sign to bring him down. Now, the rest of Complexity are coming in from behind. Now, Kai's gonna leave things off, immediately gets silenced up. Not able to get off that Echo Slam, oh, they're trying to finish him off, but Dendi taken out by Mu. Great use of the Force Staff there. Combination of the Rupture from Chessy. Roger Look getting chased down too. He's got a haste. Not going to be able to get him. Looks like it's going to be Roger instead. Oh, Roger whips. Oh, oh, oh. Nice dodge of the Fisher there. Everyone's just getting out now from Navi. Oh, no way. Well played. You feel like you're being watched. Whenever these pickoffs happen, you're not really certain where the wards are. You're not sure how they got them down as general. At top, Z Freak doesn't have a Force Staff. Or Shaker's TPing in. He's pretty tanky though. With him being able to have Blink and someone else with a rod of Atos, it makes a pretty easy catch on supports, but it's well worth it for complexity as them push in for that. Kyle, he's thinking, ooh, juicy farm pushing into my tier three. Someone's do got to take it, guys. Do it. Someone's got to take it, but Roger's here. He's a little bit deep to go for this kill. They're going to go for the rod of Atos. Suck onto him. Bring him down with the Reaper Scythe and bounce back. Got to bounce back because complexity. Say Important oh, item pickup. Oh, 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 spotted the courier. He's got a Blink too. Oh. Fast maneuvers. Oh, it was enough? I thought it wasn't enough. I'm not sure. This is pretty complicated for them. Is Z-Freak <laughs> gonna make his way down there? Had to shove out top. He's gonna TP his creeps in as well to help with this assault. And tower goes down, Navi. It's do or die time. What decision are you gonna make? I mean, they gotta do some sort of like wraparound nonsense or something. Cause just straight up running at them. To crap a five, try and slow him down. They're also trying to get a Heaven's Halberd on a Roger. There's just so Help much that stuff well. that Nami has to deal with. Dragons now coming in. Roger's taking a lot of damage from Limp. Just taking those pot shots, a little bit of extra damage for the Axis. Easy oh, kill. Dies. No commitment whatsoever from Nami or from Complexity. They had to use a Rupture for that, but they don't really care. They're going to get the Strax for free. Crystallize, getting low. Here's the Echo. He pops a Ghost Shroud immediately. Kyle jumps on that one. He is going to be healed up by the Pug. Now, but the Chen Nuke, so much damage. Enough to finish him off. Navi have to back up to the mountain, and this is Elena Brax gone. Who still has a roar and a BKB. Navi have to be careful about committing for this fight. There's still so much left for complexity. They can just keep going. Better late game. As now they're chipping away at this mid tower. All these auras helping the sniper so much. He might have been poor a second ago. And he still kind of is, but he hits a lot. <laughs> He attacks so fast with the Beastmaster aura, and then he's got a ton of attack damage thanks to the Beastmaster. Okay, Dendi's just gonna jump right in. He's got this a CKD, and he's got the Lincoln. He's trying to oh, initiate for though. his team. Reaper Scythe coming up, but a Chen setback actually. Looks like he oh, managed to get out of that one. They're gonna fight again. BKB pop 
by the Beastmaster, and they're resetting this fight pretty soon. They're trying to try and maybe go for Kyle here. Crystallite just hoping to be able to run down any hero he possibly can. Oh, there's a stun around. Kyle managed to finish him off with the Enchant Totem. He's still running himself away. Now Chessie's back in the fight. He's got his Radiance, and all these heroes are so low. Sniper's just taking his time, lining him up, and popping him off. Sineko's going to be the last one to die here. Chessie will take the triple kill. That send back from Z Freak on the Bloodseeker. Woo. Oh my. I mean, they probably still would have won that team fight, but it was a nice little. That really capped it off. Yeah. If he does, it was. Uh, it was when Chess.